NBA action on 2K Sports. Here with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court, and it's Harden in at the point guard position. And for the Warriors, it's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay at the one and the two. Draymond Green is out there with Kaminga, and it's Wiggins in at the three. And the battle of the bigs tonight, Grant. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. So the Clippers win the tip. Here's Mann, here's Harden, and he drops in the layup off the glass. The watching Harden towards man. challenges, accepting contact, and finding ways to score. Curry against Harden. Wiggins outside. And the ball out of play, and the Warriors will have it. Warriors basketball! Zubats. And Harden's got the ball here for the LA Clippers. You know, when you look back on Stephen Curry's career, it's still amazing that he fell to the seventh pick of the draft. You think a few teams are grant that one BA? Look, as great as a shooter as he is, teams were scared off by his build because he didn't have that typical NBA strong. <laughs> and that's his second turnover already this quarter. He really needs to tighten it up. And here are the Warriors now. Wiggins outside. On the wing, Curry. Playing Utah, he was nearly unstoppable. Curry team is too focused on Wiggins scoring. Easy give to his teammate. Leonard up top. He's watched by Kaminga. Leonard, good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You will gladly take those. Now here's Wiggins. An important role in this offense. Averaging around 12 and a half per game. When Curry gets a look that's good. He is automatic. There is almost no stopping him. Here's Harden. Off target with the three. Thompson outside. Inside. Here's Green. No luck on that one. Great D that time from Zubats. Kuminga against Leonard. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Leonard. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Pass to Green. Harden against Curry. Kuminga, the pass to Curry. Up and in on the layup. Hey. Curry's got eight. Sometimes hey. there's just no stopping Curry. He's just too skilled. Leonard looking over the floor. Curry against Harden. Pass to Wiggins. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. The Clippers trail. Here's Mann. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. He gets it in there. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Down low. Green. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got four rebounds in the game. Here's George. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. It's all knotted up. With how good PG-13's jumper is, that is an easy make. 
When it comes to Golden State over the last 10 to 15 years, what stands out to you the most, RJ? Just the fact that you can never count out the Warriors. Every time they've gone through adversity, they seem to come out of it even stronger. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Recently, James Harden has brought renewed focus to his playmaking. Make no mistake, B.A., he's still a gifted scorer. But yeah, he's been James facilitating Harden. way more than he two assist. Just reminding everybody how cunning his game is that he can beat you with his passing. Free throw is good, now leading by one. Grant, the all-star break is soon approaching. How important is that break for the players? Oh, the break, it is so crucial. It is needed, no question about it. And any chance to get some rest is a big bonus. Also, of course, refocusing as a team and making a plan for the rest of the year. He does not get the second one. And Harden is capable of getting you a triple-double every game. His versatility is incredible. The offensive rebound. Pass to Sharich. Here's Curry. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. And again, no good by Golden State. Shocking that he just Dude, blew that many the defense got Dude. great enough there. Slam! Don't buy Plumley. This by is what you love to Russell, see. Westbrook Russell. sharing the ball with open teammates making the right play. To halt the run. Curry shot is off. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Up top Powell. Guarded by Peyton. Peyton against Powell. Outside Harden. Fades back. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. The Warriors trailing. Here's Curry. Westbrook with the rebound. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bottle the shot. Yep, that one goes. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Peyton. Pass to Pajemski. From outside the arc. Count it. One for one to start the game. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Here's Plumley. Outside Harden. Powell outside. Driving inside. Pajemski grabs the board. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Westbrook against Curry. Five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Well, good close contest so far as we finish the first. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. And so in the game for Los Angeles, George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with Bones Highland. And it's Tice in at the five. Here's Pajemski, pounded by Westbrook. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Kuminga, strong yeah. by Bulls. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Ryan 
after 941 days sidelined by an ACL and then an Achilles tear, Clay Thompson's back doing what he loves. He said, quote, in the beginning, I was so eager to prove that I'm still great. Now I'm more relaxed, reminding myself that this is a dream that I'm living. What matters most is just having fun and playing hard, and all the big nights, they'll come. Brian? Yeah, that's the right perspective, Allie. Thanks for that. I just love how fast Thompson gets his shot off. It makes him so much more lethal. And so it's Highland with it. He brings it up for the Clippers. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. I really think that L has to fall on their defense, or lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they did have in the team with their defense. Need to be more active than they were. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. And the basket by Tyson. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Oh. Yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's Thompson. Rebounded by Highland. The Clippers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Pass to Tice. Now Westbrook. Here's George. Offline from the top of the key. The Warriors have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. He's a fixture and all-star in the NFL for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. Man comes in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Pajemski. 13 feet out. The rebound by Mann. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Right wing. Zubats against Thompson. Pass to Highland. George outside. Fires from way outside. He's off on that one. Golden State has got three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. On the wing, Thompson. There's the triple. Oh, and Clay makes that three look so easy. And this is Thompson shot by the most gifted outside shooter the NBA, the world has ever seen. Man, the pass to George. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Drills it from deep. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Back to Green. Pass to Pajemski. Leonard against Kaminga. Shot from the top of the key. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Here's Mann. Kicks it to George. Pass to Highland. The three is up. And it's slammed in by Zubac. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Warrior. Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on oh, even with oh, all that. Oh, 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 they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. There's a minute 34 left in the first half. Here's Curry. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Curry's got 10 points in the game. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up and nails the shot with ease. Golden State has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's Thompson. It doesn't go for him. Ooh, nice D from George. Lays it up and in oh, despite boy. excellent defense. There's the athleticism from George, getting loose out there. Curry against Harden. 
Gets it outside. Launches it. Plumley pulls down the board. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. They get the rebound. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. I like when George uses the shot fake to his advantage because he's good at holding the defenders. At the line for two. Good from George. You're not going to find many better two way players than George. He gets after it at both ends. X in for Green. George hits them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Trailing by four. A deep three. And the Warriors get it back. Oh, look at Looney. Finding space inside. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. George scanning the floor. From deep. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Thompson and Wiggins on the wing. Kaminga is out there with Green. And it's Curry in at the one. So that's the group out there for Golden State. The Clippers in the lead. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Why? The Warriors are pursuing a two-timeline approach to keep their titles while also building a young core for their future. It does not come cheap. This season, they're paying record high luxury tax with the total team payroll around half a billion. Brian, the commitment to winning now and down the road is evident. Deep pockets, Allie, that's for sure. Thank you. Richard, when you were playing, oh, what was your Stephen favorite offensive Green. set to run? Ooh, back in the day, they used to call it drop three, where they would just bring the ball up to the side, let me catch it on the right block, and let me play one-on-one. -on -one. That's what it used to be. Now, maybe it was the back cut. And he gets the bucket. Zubats has got his second basket on the night. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Harden against Curry. Oh, a clear Clippers foul five. there on the missed shot. James so Curry. he'll get a pair at the First line. Personal foul. Well, we might as well First count those free throw shots. Curry is automatic at the line. At the line for the Warriors. Stephen Curry. First one falls. A multiple time champion and relentless competitor. Curry's drive to be an all time great. Well, he's pretty much there. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Clippers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Leonard outside. Kawhi! Too strong inside. Oh, this is why you get Leonard the ball inside and just let him go to work. If I'm a young fan watching the NBA, Kawhi Leonard is a guy I'm keeping a close eye on, Graham. He does everything the right way. B.A., so much to like about Kawhi's game and how he carries himself. He takes so much pride in what he does on the stage. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. His man. And it's slammed in by Zubats. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. 
He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just Booker's giving foul. them everything James he Harden. has. It's why his Second teammates appreciate and enjoy Second playing with him. Everyone in the building saw the, the obvious the contact. Stephen Curry. And that one falls for Curry. So for the Clippers, Tice comes in for Zubats. And it's Russell Westbrook in for George. And so Curry nails both of them. The Clippers have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Time, out, time, time out. called here. Clippers Los call. Angeles out. decides to talk. Gonna check out the top passing teams in the league this past month. The fourth spot held by the Warriors. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock. Playing great team basketball. Westbrook, the pass to man. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Clippers lead by four. He's not the quickest guy out there, but he can outsmart you and outwork you. Outside Kaminga. Back to Curry. Curry! Creates inside! Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. The Clippers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Leonard on the wing. Shoots over Kaminga. Shot is good. Off the Why back rim and in. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. And, and very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays. But that's been their preferred way of finding points. Curry. Two points. That one goes. Man. And even though the game is not on him, he's been right out on offense for them this quarter especially. Unloads from 13. Goes back up. And Harden lays it up and in. Harden's got five. They've been so active on the offensive glass. Those second chance points have really come in bunches. Curry against Westbrook. Jacks up a three. Curry, no good. And he got a couple to fall from long distance in the first half, but still looking for that number three. Now here's Harden. He's got five. The three-pointer off the mark. And this is exactly who you want taking that Two shot. Minutes remaining in the third. Just missed it. Two minutes. This shot by Pajemski, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Man, the pass to Harden. Fades away. Here's Tice. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. To the inside, here's Pajemski, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Five points in the game. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. Time out called the Clippers for the Los Angeles Clippers. He put together bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Kyle and George are out on the wings. Even to Zubats out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Harden in at the point guard position. Another shot. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. They're showing a tremendous amount of fire tracking down misses. The attitude is paying off with second chance points. Green finds Wiggins. Outside Curry. 
Fires the three. Curry buries the triple. This is what Curry does best. He's so creative at getting into rhythm and staying high. The drive by Powell. The rebound by Clay Thompson. And so Thompson will bring it up for Golden State. It's a three-point game. Powell with a steal. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. No good. Green with the defensive effort. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. James and the call Harden. will be against James Harden. That's his third foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And the Warriors making a change here. Kuminga's checked in. Man, he's checked in for Los Angeles. It's Wiggins on the wing. George with some nice D. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Back to man. Outside Harden. Six to shoot. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Fires in the triple. Oh, and just a drop in the bucket for PG-13. He will roast you from the corners if you let him. Pass to Green. Plumley against Kaminga. Here's Curry. Shoots over Harden. That's good from Curry. On the assist by Kaminga. Kaminga's got four assists now tonight. The Clippers have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Harden the pass to man. Here's Plumley. He's watched by Kaminga. Plumley, no good. Well, the Warriors shooting 41% on this game. Curry takes it in. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. And now it's just a two-point Clipper lead. A wizard dribbling the ball. Steph is great at getting to the rack. Man, the pass to Zubat. Harden with it. Pass to man. George outside. On the wing, Harden. Shoots over Curry. Harden with a bucket. Harden's Harden. got four points now in the quarter. Oh, I'll tell you what, in this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. Kuminga soars in for the slam. And he makes it look easy. They're pressing the one man slam right there. Yeah. And as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Here's Harden. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. As a player, a rough first half, look, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. Pass to Green. Wiggins outside. Kaminga with it. Oh, so tough to stop Kaminga inside. Amen. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his pretty no balance to clear the game. James Harden. Man, he's really had a tremendous night from the field. He's shooting at a clip over 50%. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the kind of efficiency that makes a coach rest well at night. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. With the game so close, he wanted his team to stay aggressive, saying, don't be a watcher, be an actor. Go out and make something happen on the court. Don't let it come to you. Thanks for that, Alec. Curry, that's good. Oh, it's it is too big for Steph Curry. The Clippers have got four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. George against Wiggins. George passes to Harden. left in the final quarter. Oh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. This is what we've come to expect from Harden. Doesn't back down from taking the important shots of the game. Outside Curry. Harden with the defensive effort. 
for Los Angeles. They've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Leonard just brushing off the contact. Oh, man, what a bucket by Leonard. His team counts on him when time is short because he can handle the pressure. To the left side wing, Kuminga. Green. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This man has been in these moments so often. Nothing can take Draymond's focus away. Unable to get that one. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Curry against George. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. Pass to George. Over Curry. Here's Zubac. The put back. It's good. Oh, that's that's good. Back. And they just continue to attack. Even late worried. in the guess coming out of the timeout. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out. To the middle. Here's Curry. Shoots over Harden. And no good trying to use the glass. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must foul situation to stop the clock. At the line for the Clippers, James Harden. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a six point ball game. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. Time called here. The Warriors decide.